Thank you for joining me for this video, Finding Data. For Clickware, I'm Bob Cusick. Arguably, the thing that you're going to spend the most time doing in FileMaker is finding data. FileMaker makes it easy to find all kinds of data in many different ways. The first way that we're going to take a look at is by going to the Status Toolbar and clicking the Find button. Once you enter Find mode, it appears as if the screen has gone blank, but in reality, FileMaker is just waiting for you to enter your search criteria. We'll see how that works in just a minute, but first let's explore the options that you can do while in Find mode. You can click the Perform Find button to actually perform the find. We haven't entered any criteria in here, so that will get an error. And you can also cancel your find and go back to browse mode. So here we are back in browse mode where we can actually see all of the data. You can use the status toolbar to click the find button and get into find mode, or you can also choose it from the view menu and choose find mode, or use the keyboard accelerator, which is command F on the Mac OS and control F on Windows. Notice that the status toolbar changes and gives you the same options regardless of the way that you got into find mode, whether you use the button on the status toolbar or whether you choose find mode from the view menu. All right, now that we're in find mode, let's actually perform a find. So the cursor is currently blinking in the first name field, and you'll notice that there's a little magnifying glass in the other fields. This tells you that those are fields that you can search by. So in our case, we're going to try to find everybody with the first name of Bob. So I'm going to type Bob in here, and this particular application has a drop-down menu. So it shows you all of the available types of Bob that are in the actual data itself. Now that we have Bob entered, I'm going to press the return key, or you can also click the Perform Find button. Now here it looks like nothing has changed, but if you take a look at the number of records, you'll see that there's 135 found records out of a possible 50,001 records in the total database. And as we page through the records, when we take a look at the first name field, you'll see that we also got Bobby and B-O-B-B-I-E, and not just all the people whose first name was actually just Bob. This is because, by default, FileMaker does a begins with search. So, in effect, we've told FileMaker, find me everything where the first name contains Bob. So that will be Bobby and B-O-B-B-Y and B-O-B-B-I and all the other spellings. Now that we've seen how to do a simple find request, you can also go ahead and quickly find all matching entries by using what's called a context menu. So if we wanted to find all of the people with the first name of B-O-B-B-I-E, we could simply come to the first name field, right-click, and choose Find Matching Records. And now you can see that the found count has changed to 42 records. So there's 42 records of people whose first name is spelled B-O-B-B-I-E. We didn't have to go into find mode. FileMaker just did it for us automatically. Now let's go back to our first example where we want to find everybody whose first name is B-O-B and not Bobby or any variation of the spelling, but actually is just Bob. So we're going to go back into find mode. I'm going to use the find button here on the status toolbar. And notice here that there's a pop-up menu of operators. And these operators allow you to find very specific data very easily. So for example, the very first one is match a whole word or match empty. So if you want to find a field that has nothing in it, then you can simply type an equal sign into it and it will find all of the blank values. The double equal sign will match only everything that you've typed into that field. So if you have more than one word, it will only find the records that contain those exact words. You can find duplicates, and when you're finding numbers, you can do less than, greater than. You can find everything with today's date, everything that's invalid. And then you can also search for any kind of patterns. So any one character, any one digit, zero or more characters, exact phrase matches. So you have a lot of flexibility. Let's take a look at how this works in the real world. I'm going to go ahead and use the equals, and then I'm going to type Bob. And when I say perform find, it will find only the first names that equal B-O-B. -B. FileMaker allows you to do the same kind of find for any kind of field. So let's try a different one. Let's go back into find mode, 
and come down here to the state, and I'm going to put California in the state, and I'm going to say perform find. So this found 7,029 records where the state is equal to California. So you can go ahead and use this type of search in any field that you want. Now let's also search for a date or a range of dates. So down here at the bottom we have a creation date and we also have a modified date. So let's go back into our find mode and let's search for a range of dates. So we want to find everything that was created on August 1st, 2010 and let's perform that find. There was 5,000 records that were created on August 1st, 2010. You can also go ahead and do a date range find. So let's see how that works. We'll go into find mode, click into our date field, and this time we're going to find everything that was created between August 1st, 2010 and August 15th. To do that, you do a range operator, which is three periods. So you're saying August 1st through August 15th, 2010. And press your return key or perform find. And now we see there's 15,000 records that were created between August 1st and August 15th. Here's some on the 10th, and here's some on the 15th. That's pretty straightforward if you're searching by a single field. But what if you have multiple criteria that you want to search by? So let's say, for example, that we want to find all of the people named Bobby who are in the state of California. So let's take a look at how that would work. I'm going to come up to the Find button to go into Find mode. And I'm going to type Bobby in the first name. And then we're going to come down to the state of California, and we're going to type CA. This tells FileMaker to show you the records where the first name is Bobby and the state is California. FileMaker allows you to type in data in as many fields as you want, so you can get very narrow criteria and find just the records that you're looking for. So let's perform this find, and we'll see that there are six records out of the 50,001 where the first name is Bobby and the state is California. Now what if we wanted to find all of the Bobbies that were in California or in the state of Hawaii? There's a couple of different ways to do that. The first way is to extend the current found set. So we're going to go back into Find, and we're going to put in Hawaii in the state, and we're going to put Bobby in the first name, and we're going to not hit the Perform Find, because that would find us only people whose first name is Bobby and their state is Hawaii, but we also want to include the California people. So what we're going to do is come to the Requests menu and say Extend the Found Set. So we already have a found set of everybody with Bobby in California, and we're going to extend it to include everybody in Hawaii. So if we do that, now you'll see we have seven records. Before we had six Bobbies in California, so that tells me there'll be one in Hawaii. So if we page the records here, there he is. Now another way to do the same find, rather than using extend found set, is you can create multiple find requests at once. So let's see how that works. Let's go into our find mode. We'll type in Bobby. We'll type in California. And then we're going to make a new find request. So here, the number of requests went to two. And we can type in the same thing again. So we're going to type in Bobby here. And we're going to type in Hawaii here, HI. And then we're going to say perform find. And we get the same seven records. When you use multiple find requests, you're doing an OR search. Find me everything in this search criteria or in this search criteria. And FileMaker allows you to search by as many find requests as you want. So let's try another one. Let's go into find mode. I'm going to say equals Bob. And I'm going to make another find request. And I'm going to say equals Tom. And I'm going to do another find request. And I'm going to say equals Sally. And now I'm going to perform the find. And here we have 60 records. FileMaker also allows you to modify your last find. So we 
created three find requests to find three different people's names. Now let's say, oh my gosh, we also need to add everybody named Dave to this set. How would you do that? Well, remember, there's two ways. We can use find and then go to our request menu and say extend our found set. Or, well, let's cancel that. We can also use, from the records menu, modify our last find. That will put us back into find mode and it will restore those three find requests where we found Tom, Sally, and Bob. And we can do any valid find, so I can find all the Bobs in California, for example. And then I can make another new request and find all of the people named Brenda. So now when we perform our find, we get 56 records. So the important thing to remember here is that you can use multiple find requests, you can extend your found set, you can reduce your found set, and you can use operators to make your searches more powerful. If you find yourself doing the same kinds of search over and over and over again, you can also save your searches. So from the records menu, you can choose Save Finds, and it will show you all of the recent finds that you've done, and you can even save your current find. So let's see how that works. By default, FileMaker names your find according to the criteria. So we'll say this is California Bob, Tom, Sally. And we'll click Save. Now if we go back up to our records menu and we view our saved finds, you can see that there's a saved find and all of our recent finds. Now we have our set of found data and we've done our updates or we've done the report that we needed or whatever your application does. And now we want to show all of the records because we want to go back to the very first record. We can see that our found set is 56 records out of 50,000. So to erase this set of found records, you can simply say show all. And show all now will say, look, there's all the records again. You're browsing all of the records. FileMaker also allows you to do things called omit records. So you can go through this one by one if you want to. And you say, oh, Hmm, Carmen, I don't want her in my found set anymore. So you can come over here to the records menu and you can say omit the record. So this record that you chose is now omitted from the found set. So let's say you're clicking through here and you say, ah, here's Danny, I want to omit him as well. And you're going to do one more. Let's take Freddie here and let's omit him. So why would you ever omit records? Well, this can be handy when you're going through records and you kind of want to group a set of people together, but you don't really know what the find criteria should be. So you can omit them one by one, and then you can use this green pie here to flip the found set. So now we're looking at the three records that we had omitted only in our found set, and now we're looking at the other 50,000 records that aren't part of the found set. To wrap up this particular video, I wanted to show you the use of additional windows. So here we have our three records, and I'm going to come up to the window menu and say New Window. This will give me a second window, and notice it has the same found set. But I can come over here now and do a new find, and let's put equals Jill. All right, and there's 26 found here. So in my first window, I have three records found. In my second window, I have 26 records found. This is handy for if you find a set of data and you want to work with multiple sets of data at one time. You can just simply open up different copies of the same window. When you're done with an instance of a window, you can simply click the close box and that goes away. As you can see, FileMaker gives you very powerful search capabilities and the ability to work with more than one set of found data at a time through the window command. Thanks for watching.